Welcome back to Movie Summary. Today we are diving into a film called Killer Assistant. The movie begins with a kid catching his babysitter Suzanne making out with another guy in their house. The dad comes in and she pretends like nothing happened. The kid whose name is David, makes Suzanne promise him to never leave him. We then jump to decades later. Suzanne wakes up in her house, says goodbye to her husband Robert, her daughter Callista and leaves for work. On the way, she gets very irritated about work and scares her daughter who decides to walk to school. A little later at work, Suzanne is being informed by her boss Janet that she is getting an assistant. Suzanne doesn't want an assistant but Janet leaves her no choice and adds she already hired someone, his name is David. Suzanne's face then changes and she gets a weird feeling about it. David then enters to an uncomfortable Suzanne. But they then start working. David is eager to learn and assist her with anything she needs. Later that day, Callista calls the office to tell her mom that she doesn't need to be picked up. David takes this opportunity to let Suzanne know how he admires her. At the end of the day, the other co-worker discuss David and find him strange. They ask him for his social media but he adds that he doesn't have any social media. This raises even bigger suspicions. That same night, Suzanne comes back home after a long day at work. Minutes later, Robert comes back home with Callista and her boyfriend Douglas. Suzanne gets mad as she doesn't like Douglas, but she doesn't back down and forbids Douglas to ever come in the house. Meanwhile while working late, Nora is still very upset at David. She doesn't feel him, she then leaves to go home and a mysterious man comes behind her, then scratches her leg with a knife. The next day, Detective Westwood is brought to the office to investigate what happened. He doesn't exclude the option that it can be someone she knew. Suzanne announces to her team that Nora is now in the hospital. The team proceed to brainstorm on the new cover of the magazine, but David announces he has already contacted a big reality TV star named Laura who is on board. Janet and Suzanne get excited. To thank him, Suzanne takes him for coffee and David reveals he had his eyes on the magazine and her for a long time. He then offers Suzanne to walk to her car at night after what happened to Nora. That same night, the family is having dinner and Callista is very hostile to her parents like usual. She reveals Douglas broke up with her because of Suzanne. The couple then goes to bed and Suzanne confesses to Robert that she feels something strange about David. The next day, David books the meeting between Suzanne and the famous Laura. After it, she witnesses Robert meeting and kissing with another girl. She is in shock, her husband is cheating on her, she is traumatized and goes berserk in her office. This affects her to a level where she lashes out at a meeting with the magazine's potential partnership. After it, Janet confronts her stating it was unprofessional of her. David is listening through the walls. He then gets a call from Robert who wants to speak to his wife, but he tells him Suzanne isn't available. He then offers Suzanne to grab a drink after work to decompress. They do and after revealing she saw her husband cheating, David can't believe someone would cheat on such a beautiful girl. Both then drink the night away and end up sleeping together. The next day, Suzanne wakes up in David's apartment in regrets. She tells David it was a mistake. She then gets home and confronts Robert who is also mad she didn't come home the whole day. Callista catches them fighting and Robert wants to make things work, he even suggests that he will take therapy. Suzanne then gets to work. She tells David she wants to transfer him to another desk, she finds what they did inappropriate. David then threats her if she does, he will tell everyone at work what happened between, he even recorded a video. But Suzanne doesn't back down and screams to his face, if you are messing with me, I will end you. The whole staff witnesses it. Once back at her desk, David sends her the video of them sleeping together. He then bumps into Janet who apologizes for Suzanne's behavior. He adds that she has been aggressive towards him many times before. Later that day, Callista is grabbing some food when David seats next to her. He let her know he is Suzanne's assistant and both wonder what a coincidence. He looks at her work and finds her talented, he thinks should intern for them. The waiter then recognizes David and calls him by the name of Curtis. But David tells him he is mistaken. Later that day, Nora is finally back from the hospital. She immediately informs Suzanne with her concerns about David. David hears it all, 
That same night, she makes researches about David last name and finds the picture of someone else. She wants to call Suzanne but someone attacks her in her apartment. The next day, Suzanne and Robert go to couple therapy. They then find out that Robert feels less accomplished with Suzanne being so successful. But she reminds him she works so hard to pay the bills. The next day, Callista is interning at work and Suzanne warns David to stay away from her. She then gets a call from Janet revealing that during the interview with Laura, Laura said so many bad things that online people are cancelling the magazine. Suzanne realizes David did this and lashes out on him. This makes Callista mad at her mother and David comforts her. Minutes later, Janet tells Suzanne to take some time off. At this moment, Detective Westwood arrives to announce to everyone that Nora was found dead in her apartment. He starts questioning every employee. Right after that, Suzanne clears her office and leaves. That same night, David is stalking Suzanne. He then texts Callista to go out tonight. When he arrives to pick her up, Suzanne realizes it's David. She tries to call Callista but no answer. Suzanne then reveals she slept with David as scared he is after them. Hours later, Callista comes back and Suzanne tells her about David. But she thinks her mom is delusional. Robert then goes for a run. He bumps into David who finishes him. The next day, Detective Westwood comes to Suzanne and Callista to announce them Robert is dead. Suzanne is shocked, she tells him she thinks it was David. Hearing that, Callista gets mad. Westwood then begins his investigation interviewing everyone. Days go by and David having the visions of him young, catching Suzanne with someone else when she was his babysitter. One day, Callista comes visit him. He comforts her and gets her a beer. He then goes to take a shower. Callista takes this opportunity to go through his laptop and finds the videos of him watching over their house. She realizes he has been stalking her family, she then texts her mom, come help me. David notices the text and ties Callista up, Suzanne arrives at David's house with a bait. He welcome her. David then reminds Suzanne that she said she would never leave him, she then is shocked realizing it's the kid she used to babysit. She tells him his father fired her that's why. But David screams at her that he loved her. He basically believes she raised him. Since that day, he couldn't stop thinking of her. But Suzanne stands up and knocks him out. She goes to untie her daughter but David reappears and the fight continues. At this moment, Callista appears and finishes him. The movie ends with Suzanne and Callista enjoying the beautiful ocean. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and check out other movie summaries we have on our channel.